Hey, so I just got my forged, uh, my forge moved over here to the new shop, um, and I get I get asked questions a lot about uh, the forge that I use, and so I kind of while it's all kind of taken apart, wanted to kind of show it off and uh, talk about how it works. Um, the forge that, that I use is a coal forge. Um, it is a, a bottom draft or bottom tweer water cooled forge. Um, it was originally uh, designed and built. Uh, by my friend and mentor, uh, Dale Moores of the Virginia Institute of Blacksmithing. Um, and now after we go through and look at it, if you're really interested in it, um, please do contact the, the Dale at the, at the Virginia Institute of Blacksmithing. Um, I know he teaches some classes in forge building. Um, great thing to do if you're needing a forge and you want to try one of these out. Um, also, if you're just you know wanting some some practice with some fabrication skills, um, also a really great class to take. Um, they have a ton of really good classes up there, um, so give them a look. Uh, VABlacksmithing.com, I believe, or org, maybe I don't know. Google it. Um, so, anyways, um, one of the um, in a second we're going to go over and kind of look at all the pot parts to it. But there, the the main thing about this forge that makes it so cool is that there's no fire pot. It's a flat table. Um, and your tweer comes up through from the bottom through a water tank. Um, and so the, the plate that your fire is on, on the other side of that is water is in contact with it. So the water will boil, it will steam, but it will never make get, as long as that water is in contact with that plate, that plate will never get hot enough to burn. Um, the benefits for this is that you can go directly into the fire. There's no fire pot getting caked up with clinkers. Um, it's really easy to clean. Um, I find it to be a very efficient um, and uh, easy to use forgivable uh, forge. Um, and I've been using it for, I've been using these forges for well a, a little over two years now. Um, so, and I'm, and I'm addicted to them. I'm actually gonna build this type of forge for all of my student sections. Um, Dale was, uh, generous enough to, to donate some money uh, to my school here that I'm that I'm trying to build uh, which was quite humbling I don't know if any of you guys have ever had um, a mentor um, or someone that you look up to and within your craft or, or business uh, go out on a kind of go out and and, and do something for you and, and support what you're trying to do um, it's very, very humbling so I figured that would be a good a good use uh, for the funds that he has um, donated to my school would be to build more of the forges that he designed for my students um, or for the people that, that come here. So without further ado, uh, let's go over and, and walk through kind of how this forge works um, and, and let you guys uh, check it out firsthand. All right, so here is the main part of the forge. Um, and here is the, the forge uh, table that, that that sits in. This is the water tank. Um, and here you can see this is where my this is where my blower, um, my air source, my blower connects to here. This is a air gate that I built. And then the air comes through here and goes into this T and goes up through the water tank here and this is your ash dump here okay so that's the bottom side of it so we could pivot around to the top side here we see there's a there's your where your air comes out this tank is all full of water so that coming from the bottom it goes through that water tank and then it's connected there. Um, that's the fill. Sorry, it's dark back here. This is the, um, the top part there is where you fill the, the tank with water. So let's see if we can um, pull it over so you can see. So that's all filled with water up to the top. And then that water fills up underneath this plate. This plate here is where your fire sits. Now this whole tank then, see these got these shelves on it, that whole tank then sits in this slot of this table. 
and then you can put your pile your coal up back here and then actually as you get ash built up you can build a fire pot up in the middle of ash which is great um, i actually cut the sides of mine out so i can go in i've got another piece of sheet metal that i bent to be a wall that i put here but then i can take it out if i need to go all the way across um so um, i'm gonna try to i'm gonna put the tank in here and then i'm gonna show it to you again so you can kind of see it all put together okay so here's what it looks like all put together we'll kind of pivot around it so you can kind of get a 360 uh look at it um i put you know i put hammer hammer uh racks and tong racks all around mine and use that little piece of pipe to put a place for holding small punches um and now so it's got these brackets that you had welded that you weld on there that hold the whole tank in the table um i had another bracket up here which actually has a like a little quarter inch bolt that goes through it my bracket actually broke off when i was moving it over here apparently my welds weren't very good so i'll grind that back down and re-weld that bracket on there um and then this gets filled with water. Um, there's my, where my, that's where your air goes in. And this is my um, air gate here. Slides, open, close. Um, there's a drain plug in the bottom right there to drain the water if you ever need to move it. And that's pretty much it. They're pretty awesome. Um, forges i've been extremely happy with mine um so there you go so again guys uh there you go that's the the bottom tweer um water cooled forge bottom blast water cooled forge i affectionately call them the moore's forge because dale's the one that designed them um, and built them i think the design is absolutely brilliant um so if you're interested in one, again, you know, look up uh, Virginia Institute of Blacksmithing and Dale Moore's. I know he offers classes in them uh, in building these forges and, um, you know, shoot him an email, get in touch with him. And um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you all found it informative. Thank you all so much.